Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. In the latest PTS update for Fallout 76, we have got some really exciting new features to share with you today because there are some things that have been added which have been being asked for for literally the six years this game has been out and they are finally here. Now, I'm not going to lie, testing these out was extremely awkward. I didn't really get many people, if any, to actually respond to me, which was just brilliant. So I don't know if people are a bit weary of it or if it's not sending through on the right channels. I'm not entirely sure. But the thing I'm basically talking about here is text chat. Something that we have been asking for for so long is finally coming to the game. Hopefully in the next update that should be coming out in December. From my understanding of it, you can actually go and speak to your team through the text chat or you can go through your area, all of that kind of standard communication channels that you can normally use with your mic. Now one really weird kind of thing about it is, I don't know if this is a requirement or if this is a bug, but when you're actually trying to speak to people, if for some reason if you don't have the text to speech on, it won't let you chat. Like I turned it off hoping that I wouldn't be annoying everyone, but then it wouldn't let me actually open up the text box and chat with people. So I had to put that on, which means every time I now talk, it puts on this robotic voice speaking to people. And yeah, I don't know how people's gonna enjoy hearing them voices all the time, but I suppose you can turn it down so it's not the end of the world. Either way, this is definitely something that could be very good for the game. This is, like I say, something that everyone's wanted for a while. So hopefully this helps improve the games because it allows you to like speak to people that don't have mics, they need help with stuff if they're requesting stuff. Trading will be a lot easier as well because you'll actually be able to speak to the person that you're kind of trying to trade with and say, look, I'll offer you this for it. And they'll say yes or no, rather than just constantly decline and trade offers or something like that. Now another really cool one which I actually really enjoy and quite looking forward to this is the new ping system. So previously in the game you could set waypoints on the map and people could kind of see your little waypoints or your marker let's call it because that's what's officially called. But now in the new PDS update you can actually ping different items on the world. From testing out so far, you can see that you can actually ping kind of interactive stuff like stash boxes that'll give you one color and one marker. You can also ping items that you can interact with for some reason, kind of like pinging a uh, scrap that you can pick up, as well as like crafting stations does give you the same one, which is a little bit odd, but you know, never mind. Maybe that's just a little thing to change in the future with it being in the PDS. But you can also ping like live creatures and NPCs that you can interact with as well. So it seems really helpful, especially if you're doing stuff with someone and you run around the team and someone can't find like a stash box or a crafting station or something like that, you can ping them. You can also ping enemies, which is a really cool one as well. If someone's like looking for a certain enemy in the quest or an event or something, you can ping these to try and help them out. But overall, it is a really nice system and I do think it actually works quite well, this ping system. There is a way where you can actually turn it off so you don't see other people's pings and you can only see your own pings, but it's definitely a nice addition that's on the way. Now finally, the last exciting one for this video, which I found, was a new team that has been added into the game with the new raids team getting added, ready for the raids to get thrown into the game in December. Now a bit different to other teams, this one will actually give you an increased weapon durability rather than an XP boost, so maybe you want to kind of give us an insight into what to expect with these raids. If they're giving you a weapon durability bonus, then maybe these raids are going to actually be pretty heavy and hard hitting, and that's why they're adding this feature in. I'm really hoping that's the case and they're going to go kind of all out with these things and we're going to get a lot of enemies to fight and there's going to be a lot of entertaining because that's what we need. We need some end game kind of content for us all to enjoy. That's something that's repeatable and actually fun to keep doing over and over. Something that's not easy and something that's actually challenging. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be the case. That though is three new exciting features which I'm really looking forward to that I found in the PDS. So if you found anything else let me know down in the comments below. I will have more videos coming up over the next couple of days so make sure to hit the like button on this one and subscribe if you're new. But on that note that is the end of this one. So thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.